Blake's here with head women's golf coach. Coach, another year, another league tournament title, this time done a little bit different this time, but uh, just your thoughts and how's it feel now? Now it feels great. Um, I think we we played great today. Um, stressed me out a little bit, but um, I told the girls that I was still very confident that we were going to pull this through. Um, they're just gamers. They love to compete. They love to represent DU, and I think they love – um, to just pull through, as you could see with the scores that Jess D shot, Jess Cardi being two under her last 13, and Sophie having three birdies in a row on 14, 15, 16. You could see that they love the challenge, and that's what I love so much about this team is that they accepted the challenge and they love to compete. Um, I know something you've kind of said and hinted at all year, just having depth from your three, four, and five golfers as well as like production from you said, if we can get that, we're a pretty good team and pretty tough to beat. Well, kind of that was the key to this whole tournament here. Just how, how excited were you to see that to see that come to fruition? Yeah, you know, absolutely. That's what we work all season for and why we have so many qualifiers, why we recruit and we have nine people on the team is because they push every single one of us to get better, even the coaches. Um, and I think that it was just fun for us to see them grow and get better and improve all year, all year long. But to, to see it in Sophie and Lauren and then Justy today shooting even par, you know, it just makes me so happy as a coach to see them improve and, and have the confidence that they do now at the end of the season. Um, you kind of sent a message to everyone late last night, just showing them like kind of how you got to start to the first round with, with a quick start on that, saying like this, we can do this type of stuff. And lo and behold, first, for, you know, early on here, you guys come out to another fast start that helps you kind of build a quick lead. Um, just how, how key was it to kind of make sure your girls got started fast so they'd have some confidence going into the to the back nine of this yeah. tournament? You know, every day we started off real well. Um, we're keeping a birdie board, and I think we birdied almost every hole the first six holes every day. Um, but, yeah, I texted them, and I said, you know what, we had uh, an 11-stroke lead through eight to ten holes the first day. We were minus eight, and they were plus three. We can do this, and, and I truly believe it. And if you get something in your head and you think you can, you will do it. I've seen it happen many times. So just trying to feed them with positive thoughts and, and telling them and encouraging them and knowing and telling them that they can do it so they, they know they can. But, yeah, we think we had a gained nine strokes on them this morning through five or six holes. So we were seven up. Um, but that just helps once you once you do that and you start off hot like that and you're making a lot of birdies. It's 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 a lot easier to mo maintain that momentum um, and to play confidently the rest of the round like they did. And then finally, um, your two seniors, Jess Cardi, Marielle Brune, four years, four straight Summit League championships. Just how special of a moment is that to kind of see you know, those two just have that kind of level of success at this program. Yeah, you know, they've they've meant so much um, to the program and, and to me. They were my first recruits that um, I, I had signed an NLI, and um, I'm glad we did. Um, but, yeah, it, it's fun to see because, like I said, they've grown so much um, from their freshman year, not only as people but as golfers, and, um, and, and both mean just as much to me um, being their, their golf coach. But I think this is very well earned and deserved for them. They've worked hard. They've worked hard to be in the lineup. They've worked hard to be a, a captain and a leader on this team. So to pull it off like they did, and Mariel finished two under, or one under the last four, and like I say, just two under the last 13, just shows the kind of leadership that we have. And I think that's why our team continues to have success as we have great senior leaders. All right, Coach. Well, up next, the NCAA Regional. Just want to give us an idea of kind of what, what people might expect out there from uh, your program. Yeah, so we're going to leave the following Saturday. Um, I think it's the 7th, 6th. And um, we could either go to New Mexico, Texas Tech, Ohio State, or Georgia. And we've been to New Mexico. New Mexico, we've been to Georgia. We love those courses. But I think uh, Texas Tech would also be a great tech test for us. Um, so we're up, we're up for the challenge. We're just excited to go with this momentum and confidence. And I think we have um, some really high beliefs that we can make it this year. And I don't know if we've had this moment, this much momentum and confidence at this point in the season, uh, the four or five years that I've been coaching. So for me, it's fun. I love this team, and, and they all love each other and are playing hard for each other. So 
expect some great things out of the out of the Pios again at regionals. All right, Coach. Well, we will, and wishing you the best out of regionals. Denver Thank Athletics you. here with senior golfer Jess Cardi. Jess, four straight years, four straight league titles. You guys, come and do it again today. A little bit different way, uh, kind of rally um, late to kind of pull ahead and, and make lay claim to the tournament title. Just your thoughts on it. Yeah, I'm really proud of, of the team for stepping up today. Um, it wasn't easy going in three shots back, and the conditions got pretty tough out there on the back nine. So really happy with everyone, and, and it's nice to enjoy this win in my last conference championship. Um, I mean, yeah, we talked earlier about it. Uh, again, for a second straight day, kind of seems like you kind of came to life on the back nine. This time, I believe, shooting two two under on it. Um, yesterday was was pretty much, I think, even par one over. Um, wh what is it about playing the final nine holes on this course that you seem to have some success with? Yeah, you know, especially this week, I just kept thinking to myself, wow, like this is my last conference championship for DU, so... Um, I just find something within myself to dig deep and grind it out on those last nine holes. Um, we talked about this earlier going into the tournament. If there was an opportunity that you and Marielle could uh, become the first pioneers in program history to win four straight Summit League titles, well, you went out, you did it. How's that feeling? It's awesome. Um, yeah, we've we've stuck together throughout our four years, and it's nice to have this have had the success that we have. And to look back on it and say that we've won four conference championships is, is pretty awesome. You know, next up now, NCAA Regionals. Now, it seems like lately you guys have been playing your best golf. Now, I know, you know, this tournament you were actually, you, you got a challenge from South Dakota State, who's a much improved team. But, you know, you win this tournament. You go out and play really good in the Liz Murphy. Like, how encouraging is that now going into, you know, playing in the NCAA Regional? Yeah, it'll definitely give us confidence. Um, I mean, we by no means played our best golf here this week and we're still managed to get the win so going forward I think we'll have a ton of confidence and and we just need to step it up at regionals and, and get to nationals all right Jess well best of luck out at regionals thanks Chris